It heralded a new age in television technology. Back in 86, the revolution was led by Liverpool. The Granada News Centre, located here in the neoclassical dock traffic office, is one of the most modern in the world, with a satellite dish, would you believe, on the roof. The centre was based in the regenerated Albert Dock, which had lain derelict and silted up for years. The then state-of-the-art newsroom was one of the first to be built using computer-aided design. Well, sadly, this is the old newsroom today, the old gallery there. This is where all those newsreaders sat who could forget Hazel Barrett, Julius Alexander, Anthony H. Wilson, Bob Greaves, and, of course, the one and only Richard Maidley. I'm sure Richard Maidley would like to uh, have a go. <laughs> Do me a favour. I've not been the same since a spider once fell into my bath and I was out of it faster than a space rocket. A late headline, uh, Julia. Late headline, yes, but we haven't got time for it, so oh. we'll just stick with the spiders. Then we'll say bye-bye. When Maidley moved to This Morning, both programmes helped put Albert Dock on the map. Morning. Yes, good morning. While Fred made the mistake of putting these two on his. And we could have a little problem here. And the bare cheek of one man has been seen across the world. It's a good job, it's a nice day. Granada Television has announced that the Albert Dock studio complex in Liverpool is to be the home of a new national television channel. Shop also broadcasts from the dock, giving viewers a taster of the multi-channel world to come. And from football to sailing, in a city like Liverpool, sport has never been far from our minds. Hello there, we're in warp factor speed this evening. Uh, Thirty odd goals coming up, that's if the calculator's working okay. Thanks Elton, welcome to Collector Balls. It's a positive treasure trove of footy memorabilia. When our main studio moved to Manchester, we still had a few people into Liverpool for a chat. I want the question answered. The issue is one that has touched the whole of the NHS. I don't hold out a lot of prospect. You're always going to get this bit of stick. You've got to keep discipline within the camp. In a really eventful day, actually, you know. Yes, we've seen some very familiar faces here. And heard such a variety of music. There is no power can conquer you while God. Although we didn't necessarily take it all too seriously. Happy Mother's Day. And back in our first year, world famous acts rocked the dock. Good night. Bye now. We'll see you then. Good night. We'll be back. I'll see you later. We've been making and breaking news from the Albert Dock for 20 years now. A lot of people have come through these doors and hopefully we've managed to create some memories as well. But the next stage of Granada history is going to come from the most famous building in Liverpool. Andy Bonner, Granada reports at the Albert Dock News Centre. Oh, oh, some happy memories of sure. the Albert Dock there. Uh, well, as Andy said, we're moving to the Liver building, so we'll have a special report from our new newsroom on Monday. I'm amazed that you had Run DMC on. Fantastic. I know, I looked very serious in those you days did. as well, didn't I? Anyway, let's get the latest weather and the UV Sun report now. Here's Kerry. 